When we talk about Dante Controller, many of you may be extremely familiar with it, having used to it for many years. We all know that it is a useful tool to configure an online Dante network, and it allows us to make subscriptions, configure devices, monitor clocking, and latency, in addition to many other things. It is good to point out that when we use Dante Domain Manager, we will still be using Dante Controller for those same operations. The main difference is that users will need to log into the DDM server in Dante Controller with their username and password. Once successfully connected, a drop down domains menu list will appear, allowing you to access the domains that you have been authorized to work with. From then on, everything else that we already know in Dante Controller will still apply. To connect to a DDM server in Dante Controller, you must go to the toolbar and click on the DDM login button. Once clicked, a new DDM user login window will appear. Dante Controller versions 4.0 or higher will automatically search for a DDM server if you have configured automatic discovery. Otherwise, you will have to enter the fully qualified domain name or IP address. When you are planning to use legacy devices in a network, remember that they will be limited in their functionality. They are not enrolled in a domain, they are associated with it. And since they are running non-DDM ready firmware, they are not fully secure. Dante Controller hides these legacy devices in the unmanaged domain by default. There is a hidden devices icon that will appear in the lower left hand corner of Dante Controller, a spy hat with sunglasses. This is a reminder that you have legacy devices being used. If you want to see these hidden devices, you can select the view menu and choose show hidden devices. Once unhidden, their settings can be changed, which may disrupt the flow of audio in their associated domain. To prevent that, try to use non-legacy devices or update them all to the latest Dante firmware. As we said in the level one and two, Dante Controller is a real-time network software, and when you launch it, it will automatically scan the network and show you the devices that are online. If for some reason you don't see anything, maybe it's because you have devices enrolled in a domain. For security reasons, you will not be able to access them until you authenticate against the DDM server. So click on the globe icon in Dante Controller's toolbar and then type the server name or IP address of your DDM server. For our case, we will use the server name. And after that, we fill in the username and password to log in. As we said before, Dante Controller will remember the server you logged into last. Once we've logged in, you will see the drop down domain list on the top right. In my case, it shows I'm logged in as admin. And here, we have a selector where we can choose the domain that we want to work in. By default, it shows the unmanaged domain. That will show Dante devices that have not been enrolled in a Dante Domain Manager domain. On my network, I don't have any devices there because they are all in secure domains. But if I select the meeting rooms, I'll see a few sources connected to my DSP in that area. If I select the theater, I'll see the devices in this area as well. Basically, we just use Dante Controller as we normally would.